Hello, my name is Ivan Temelkov from IvanTemelkov.com, and I'm back again with another Joomla tutorial. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perform a fresh installation for a Joomla 1.5.15 version that's going to be installed on a Linux shared hosting environment. Now a couple of things we want to make sure that are in place before we start is one that you have a domain registered that's pointing to your web hosting environment or perhaps you are installing uh, this particular Joomla application on an IP address and that is something that you'll want to make sure that is settled before we proceed and second of all is you want to make sure that uh, your web hosting environment meets all of the Joomla technical requirements that are mentioned in uh, one of my previous previous videos that talks about an introduction to Joomla 1.5. Now that you have um, tasks 1 and 2 or 1 and 2 completed we can go ahead and proceed with the setup and the first thing we want to do is log into uh, our cPanel here in our Linux shared hosting environment which I have already done and the first thing we'll want to do is create a MySQL database that's going to store all of the content for our Joomla application so you want to click on the MySQL database icon and scroll down um, to new database and we're going to call our database sandbox and we'll need to create a user that's going to be associated with this particular database Now after doing this is what you want to do is scroll down and associate the uh, box user username that we've created with the particular database that we have created as well. Now your prefix here will will actually be slightly different as uh, it's at generally the username for your uh, hosting environment and mine is sensefm underscore box user for the user and sensefm underscore sandbox um, for the database. You'll want to make sure that the box all is checked under privileges and then add user to database. Okay, so this is done. We want to go back to the home and we want to click on file manager which is going to launch the entire structure of the current web route. Um, the directory you want to install this in is usually going to be public HTML or www and this is something that you want to double check with uh, your hosting company as to what particular directory are all of your websites hosted in. So in this case we're going to click on public HTML and we're going to create a new folder and we're going to call that folder sandbox and then we'll scroll down to our newly created sandbox directory and click on the folder next to it to enter the directory and we want to upload a new file now what we're going to be uploading here is the Joomla 1.5.15 zip file that you have already downloaded via joomla.org www.joomla.org you want to click on choose file and select the zip file that you have downloaded and click on upload and I'm currently awaiting the upload now one thing you want to keep in mind also when uploading a file via the file manager is that there may be a restriction uh, on your PHP settings as far as how big of a file you can upload so just in case you do get an error that's, that may be the reason for it and it looks like I have uploaded my uh, full package here and the next thing I want to do is click on the actual file 
and over on the right hand side extract file content and what that will do is it will inflate all the files in that zip file okay so we have extracted all of the files in the zip file in our sandbox directory the next thing you want to do is click on the file again and go ahead and remove it as we'll no longer need it so you're going to do that by clicking on the zip file and then delete file and at that point you're going to see the entire structure of all the files and folders here um, that uh, have been inflated from the zip file. 